Hello DeepBot users, this is Octomian with yet another patch video for DeepBot. Patch 0.5.6, a minor patch with two main updates. So we'll go over that. Before we go over that I'm happy to announce that I have now a Blue Yeti uh, purchased this. So the audio quality on the patch note videos in the future and right now are being uppened. Right, so let's go to the About tab, where we can find the change log. <coughs> you will find two new updates, the bug fixes and the new feature. Now I'm going to go over the security features first. Uh, this is the bug phase, or the bug fix. It's a critical security update. The security update, however, is uh, we've, we have noticed that the last couple of months, uh, or last month, the authenticator has been under attack and it's been a little bit on the weak side so experts online actually updated that so the security issues on the bot have now been more tighter um, we will see on the next coming month month and a half probably multiple updates regarding security fixes if you are having problems uh, after the update logging in this is something that i have had for myself for a small problem you need to uh, authenticate both your bot as well as your stream again uh, do that first before pressing connect uh, this will um, re-enable your bot if you do not do that then the stream uh, authenticator will stay on connecting so authenticate first and then connect all right the other one is the add new feature an added option to create customer user join messages this is for viewers that have uh, that are in your channel or in your stream for a longer period of time as well as multiple times uh, so it's basically your viewer regulars this is an option for vip streams only so for vip bot users only and i will show you on how to do that if you go to the user database you can press right mouse click on any user click add a user you will find a custom join message option over here you can type in anything you want and you can also use the add user add command so pretty neat you can now um, have personal messages for regular stream regulars all right that's pretty much the <laughs> the bug the uh, the or the the, uh, the patch note i do want to go over a couple of other things as well and after that we're going to go over the top 10 uh, most asked questions in stream chat so um stay tuned if you have uh, if you want to help other people out in stream chat as well as of course um having an answer to those questions now a couple of things I want to go over with is first of all the stream chat. The stream chat is for support only. So people if you want to link out your forum post that's allowed. Everything else is allowed to stream a chat but it's mainly for helping each other out as well as for us to give you guys support. Now um, what is absolutely not its intent is commercializing your stream. So no 24 7 events or giveaways or you're doing a um, a pep rally for for extra life or something like that this is not where this chat is intended to be or this is not what it was intended it to be um, it's purely for support and to talk with each other and nothing else so please do not commercialize your stream into this chat all right Another uh, nice feature that I'm uh, happy to announce is that uh, some of you have may, may have gotten a mail regarding um, Twitch payment options for subscribed channels. Um, we can now uh, subscribe on channels with Bitcoins as well as other in-game currency or out-game currency, excuse me. And this is fully supported by Dbot. However, we uh, experts online is still testing out the longer period or the, the, the monthly payments. Um, you can also have an option now to subscribe at an, a longer period on the channel, for example, on uh, six months. This is something that Depot still needs to be tested or is in the tested fa testing phase. So, um, but uh, mainly the options for other payment currency um, is supported by Depot. Another thing is. Um, 
uh, we value your input for new feature request on the stream uh, streamer chat however uh, even though experts online does check the streamer chat uh, daily on a daily basis um, he does not pick up any ideas for feature requests on streamer chat you need to go to the forum topic uh, created for that purpose so if you go to the forum uh, forum uh, tab of IndieBot, you can uh, go to um, feature request over here and you can make a post over there and if plenty enough of people in the user depot community support you uh, or your idea then experts online will consider adding it into the next update so that's pretty much it um, that's what uh, what the patch is all about um, next up we're gonna go over 10 top 10 most questions asked um, for um, deep bot and what we encounter in stream chat see you in a moment welcome back so we're gonna go over the top 10 most questions asked in streamer chat on support uh, a lot of these questions are reoccurring by you guys <clears throat> and uh, we hope that uh, this video clarifies a lot on these questions so let's get over it number 10 my donations do not appear in the notifications tab if you go to the notifications tab within dbot you will see that um, donations that are made to you are appearing within the notification tab over here some people have been um, asking it uh, why where, where it appears not only that but it doesn't appear for them it's very simple when you purchase the bot for uh, the ten dollars you will get a mail from experts online uh, with a, a video tutorial in it as well as a um, link to the notification uh, notification tab if you did not get that or separate mail regarding that then simply go to the website on dbot go to the forums then go to feature request new donation notification functionality and personal message experts online with these three questions these questions are needed in order uh, in order for deep bob to uh, see the notification once that's done you will get a new mail from experts online with a url in it that url needs to be used in order for other people to donate to so that's gonna be in your um, info section on your twitch channel okay that's number 10 number nine can I use a custom banner for notifications? Yes, you can. Over here, you will see that uh, you can uh, you can customize your banner as well as the sound of the notifications with both followers as well as donation. And if you are a partner, um, sub notifications as well. There is a simple way to do that, and it's a CSS style sheets. If you are familiar with them, then um, there are a couple of examples on that. So if we go back to the website and go back to the forums, you will notice that an advisor called Amaraki has made a couple of examples already. And you can copy the CSS style sheets regarding that and then uh, modify it yourself as well. Simply go to the forum. And then go to uh, custom notifications and then you'll see these three pinned posts which is uh, subscriber notification donation notification and follower notifications there's a gallery you will see that he made the CSS style sheets over here and underneath he previewed the uh, the actual uh, banner itself and Meraki also uh, does this customly for uh, people that ask him to uh, simply make a reply on the post and he will contact you in order on what you need that's the custom command banner all right number eight free dice crafts does not work for me and my drag race is grayed out if we go to the stream interaction you will notice that you got free games 
Drag Race, Arena, and Bank Heist. Bank Heist and Arena are regular options within the bot. Drag Race is a VIP option. If you do not have VIP, for example this star on the right side of your streamer assistant, then Drag Race will be grayed out for you and your viewers are not able to use it. So you need VIP for it. The free dice crabs have been into uh, has been into development for quite a while now. Uh, actually, it's not a major priority at the moment to get it working. It will be added to Depot in the future, but for now there are no major features as well as security options that need to be added to Depot. And therefore, free dice crabs is not able to be used as well as you can't click on it. So that's basically um, free dice crabs. Um, we'll keep you updated when it does can or when it when it is gonna work all right next question number seven I want to reset the points of a specific user where do I do that this is a, a mistake that a lot of you guys uh, or not a lot of you but some of you have been making uh, if you go to the user database and you right mouse click on a uh, on the viewer you will see a couple of options edit user add points remove points copy battle text send twitch message refresh all followers and reset database the mistake that i have been seeing from some of you is that you go to the reset database and then reset the full database do not do this do not do this at any cost unless you are absolutely sure I've talked with experts online. He's uh, he's looking into it to uh, to have a extra box uh, pop up uh, to confirm a reset on full database. But if you want to reset hours or points, just simply use those two, or uh, use this option: remove points or add points. And you can also click on edit user and um, click the points an amount of points over here as well. So that's how you do that. Do not use the reset database. All right. Number six. My music player asked for a flash update, but I can watch YouTube normally. Yes, that's correct. Um, in this particular case, there is a very big chance that you are using Google Chrome as a browser. If you are watching YouTube, then the flash player is integrated as a plugin into Google Chrome. Therefore, you can watch YouTube. However, Deepbot's music player is using the software for flash player. Therefore, you need to install the flash player for either Internet Explorer or Firefox on your computer in order to make Deepbot's music player work. A small reminder regarding that, when you add playlists, it only adds uh, or add songs it only adds individual songs on YouTube it does not support any local mp3 or that any kind it will not support a complete playlist of YouTube of any kind simply just add the song on YouTube so that's basically that um, number five I need to reinstall my windows what do I copy over there's two ways to do this, the hard way and the easy way. I just recently had my computer reinstalled, so what I did is I went to my computer. You will find at the local disk a uh, folder called Deepbot Twitch Streamer Assistant. You can simply cut that out and copy it into a USB uh, disk or an external hard drive. And then when you reinstall your computer, simply place it back on this, uh, this folder just in the local disk. Um, that's the easy way. The hard way, uh, I'm gonna have to show that, uh, is to copy these files, which is the user.bin, userconfig.bin, chen, msconfig.bin, and dbot.s3. You can find those at the local disk in the dbot stream, Twitch streamer assistant uh, um, um, options you can also search them individually on the right side over here in the uh, in the search box so that's um, the copy and I would definitely recommend you just to copy the entire folder though number four I want to only give points to an active chat users where do I do that 
Alright, if I click back into Debot and go to the configuration tab and you will notice a gear on the right side over here. Not many of this, not many of you know this, but you can click on it and there's a couple of options including reconnecting when uh, you start up Debot again. On the points options you will see two boxes. Only issue points to viewers active in chat for at least the amount of minutes that you can put in yourself. And the other one is only allow points to be checked on bot chat. Points can only be checked once every and then you can put another uh, option as well. You can play a sound on highlight as well as uh, uh, increment hours watched counter when the stream is offline as well as detect streamers that host you and thank them in chat so i definitely recommend you to check those options simply click on the gear over here it's called master settings panel number three can i change the ranks and where do i do this yes you can change out any type of ranks some of you actually use the show rank for the command exclamation mark and then the, your currency's name and it either shows the hours watched or, or it shows a rank. I can show you that very simply user database. If I click on alter Arcto, it will show that the stream level on it is master gunnery sergeant. You can change this out to suit that your uh, suit it for your channel. Simply go to the computer, local disk to the debot folder, and then you will find a. Uh, um, um, a file called and I'm gonna have to look over here Give me one moment ranks there we go it opens up in notepad if it opens up at all please open up there we go and you can change out these ranks at any given moment uh, keep the two and the comma and all that kind of stuff uh, the same just simply um, change out the uh, the different uh, types once you're done simply save the file restart the bot and it will show the new ranks okay so that's the rank option number two I want to add a follower goal where can I find these files a lot of the streamers want to add a follower goal uh, into their stream this is an option within the bot as well so we go back to the debot folder and you'll notice a folder called OBS. Click on that and you will see a couple of files including current viewers as well as um, debot raffle timer, follower target and this is the, 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 the option you want to look for. Simply change out this number, save it out and then add it with the clear browser to your OBS then um, it will show up and update every single time you're getting a new viewer all right so that's that and the number one question most asked in streamer chat is my notifications are grayed out what do i do well there's a couple of steps you want to take or uh, want to go over before uh, before asking for help regarding this first of all you need to know uh, whether you're still vip or not this can be checked simply with the star on the right side on the twitch streamer assistant if you hover over that star it will also show when your vip is gonna expire you can also see that in the about tab so this is something that you can check out as well on the low or top left side you will notice a vip option and it will show the date of your vip if it's still grayed out for you then there's a very big chance that you have not gone over the forum steps simply go to uh, the website and then uh, go to feature request and then new notification functionality donation notification functionality simply copy these three questions and personal message experts online with this once he has added it and you restart your ex uh, your deep bot it will automatically uh, scoop up if you want to re-enable your vip then let me show you that as well simply go to the website again then uh, click on donate and then 
set on the monthly amount five dollars vip is only five dollars a month uh, i do know that some of you pay ten dollars a month and of course you're more than happy to give more to experts online for the amazing work that he does but uh, the vip itself is five dollars a month add your twitch id over here and a personal note he lost personal notes i think he saves them and 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 paper walls them on his wall and subscribe now the next time when you restart your depot the system automatically picks up that you're vip again and therefore you get to star on the top right side on the twitch streamer assistant providing of course that you still gone over the feature uh, donation notification functionality uh, post pm that you send it to experts online if this did not work and it's still grayed out for you and that means that the notification uh, functionality is grayed out for you as well so basically every vip then simply please go to the forums and then um make a bug report over here and uh, that's something that i answer as well so experts online can take a close look at your personal client that's pretty much it for now uh, if you have any questions of course we are always available in streamer chat providing that uh, one of us is awake to give support or not busy and uh, we will give uh, as much support as we can until the next patch video, I'm Arctomin and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.